Welcome back, Sugar Boo. I feel like it's been a minute since I talked on a tutorial, so I'm back. <laughs> So, all right, I just finished washing my hair. I used the Head and Shoulders Royal Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. A very inexpensive Walmart carries it, honey. Go ahead and grab it. So, I'm going in with the Blue Magic Coconut Oil Hair Conditioner and very little. Do not use a whole lot of this because it can make your hair very, very stiff and very, very oily. And you don't want that. You just want enough to help you detangle and add some shine to your hair. So, I use about a dime size amount for each section. I have my hair separated into four sections. I did go back in and add just a little bit more on my ends because I want to make sure my ends are nice and protected. I'm going in with this Hot Commodity by Taraji. It's a heat protectant spray. It smells really, really good. I was a little afraid about it because it was literally the only protectant spray left in the store. So I was kind of scared, but she performed well. I feel like I, she, she did she did what she needed to do. And I just pray we don't have any heat damage, you know? So yeah, but if you don't have heat damage, are you even living life? Are you? Are you even living life? So I'm going in with my blow dryer and I just blow dry it. Like I don't know how to explain blow drying, honey. Just take take that brush and take that blow dryer and brush it until you get it as straight as possible. Now I make sure I coat my hair with that heat protectant spray. My arms are getting a little bit tired, so you see me looking a little lazy here. Uh, but make sure you coat your hair with the protectant spray. I mean, I don't see how too much is going to damage your hair. It's supposed to be a protectant. But you know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. So anyways, after I do that, I'm gonna twist this up and we're gonna move on to the next section of hair. This is late at night, so I'm not going to come, I'm not gonna finish my hair, I'm not even gonna lie to you, okay? So this is with one side completely blow dried and we have the other side to complete. And I just love to compare like one side blow dry versus my natural kinky hair. And I just like, I just love that <laughs> black hair is just magical, okay? So this is the entire head done. Oh, nice and full. I can feel my scalp. It's just wonderful. So um, I'm going to twist it up. I'm going to put some flat twists in because like I said, it's late at night. I am not about to finish this mess. So the next morning, we're going to take out these flat twists and we're going to get into flat ironing and trimming the ends. All right, Sugar Boo, let's get out those flat irons. So I had to go buy a new one because my baby of 12 years died on me. <laughs> it was so sad. So I bought this one from Walmart and Lord, I did not realize how expensive heating toil tools are. Like I dropped like $80 on that damn flat iron. But anyways, so I heated up to its max, which is 430 degrees. Um, if you don't like heat on your hair, just don't, don't bother. Just don't bother. If you're gonna tell me this is too high, like, Mm, you must have like that type two hair with, that don't require much because honey, I need all the heat I can get. So I'm just taking it slow, okay? I'm taking my time. I do two passes. I do one which is really, really slow. Not, not really, really slow, but it's really slow. And then the second pass, I go back in with a comb just to make sure that I get my ends as straight as possible so that we can perform our trim. I do about three layers of flat ironing and then I'm gonna go in and trim, trim, trim with some very good scissors. Make sure you have some nice sharp scissors. You don't wanna try to cut your hair with some dull ones because you might get some jagged ends and it'll just look It'll look awful. It'll just look awful. Make sure you have some brand, just, just get you a brand new pair of scissors because I know your scissors are dull, babe. Just get you some new scissors, all right? And we're just gonna trim this up. So I flat iron about two, three sections and then I go back in with my scissors to trim my ends. And I just want y'all to see what these ends look like, all right? That's about an inch of hair. And I get a lot of like split ends and knots at the ends of my hair. Like I can I can tell when my hair needs a trim, like which anybody should, You you know when them ends are not serving a purpose. As you can see, they are see-through, okay? You can see everything behind my shelf. That's how bad my ends were. So, you know, take your time and just trim them up, make them look nice, all right? And then we're gonna move to the front of the hair. I'm gonna show y'all how I do that because I feel like the back, I couldn't really get into details with it. So I'm flat ironing first, nice and slow with that first pass. Mm -hmm. Look at that steam. Yes, ma'am. Then we're going to go in with the second pass with the comb just to make sure it is straight as possible. And then we're going to gather those uh, two sections that we just flat ironed and just trim it up. Trim up about, take, you know, just take an inch off. 
take an inch off if you need more that's fine we'll go back in and do another cut just to make sure now with the sides I kind of have layers like natural layers growing um in the front of my hair uh, so I'm going to do like a sideways cut where I'm gonna do another two sections of flat ironing and then go in sideways to trim it so it creates you know those layer that layering effect if, if you know what yeah I, I'm gonna just show you I'm gonna just show you because I feel like me explaining it I'm probably just confusing you Okay, did y'all see those ends? When I say see-through, I mean invisible. There, there was no ends there. You know how raggedy I know my ends are? Because when I cut them, they don't even make a sound. If they, if they, they not making a sound when you cutting them, you, you ain't had no hair there. There was no hair there. You, you was just wishing upon a star, okay? Just cut that inch off so we can see some healthy growth in New Year. We're not about to take no dead ends into the new year baby we're not about to do that okay not on this channel uh-uh no ma'am so i sped it up because you know it's pretty much the same process over and over again you're just seeing me flat iron a couple of sections and then go back in and trim for me this is the best way to make sure that i am cutting um very thoroughly making sure i get every strand as much as possible i'm no professional so this is just how i taught myself how to do my at home trims until i go see a professional um which is very unlikely for me because i just i i I don't I don't go see professionals you see them prices they charge it for a haircut baby I will I will F up my own hair before I, I hand somebody $200 for a wash and style no baby can't do it I'm a frugal individual uh, I'll figure it out I'm gonna figure it out And there we have it, one side nice and healthy, straight. Okay, that flat iron was putting in some work, okay? My last one could never. It was time for her to go. It was time for her to go. So I'm just comparing sides again because, I, you know, I just, black women hair is just, you know, how are we not the beauty standard, honey? That it is beyond me. We just be on me. Do y'all see the magic performed on this hair? Jesus. Take, take me take me all right so this is this this is it this is it right here um you can go just like this but um i'm a 90s baby so we about to bump them ends okay all right just like mama taught us we about to bump them ends real quick so i'm gonna turn my flat iron down to the 350 or 340 350 somewhere in that price range uh we gonna bump her down there because we don't need all them all that heat we just we, we she already straight we just want to add a little bit of bump on them ends that's all we do. just a little bump bump just a little you know hump in the back that's all we doing so i'm just taking my flat iron and curling it up until we get a nice little spiral back there and we're gonna do this to the entire head All right, babe, so this is the finished look for my flat iron. A two-day process for me because I take a lot of breaks. I do not like to overwhelm myself when it comes to taking care of my hair because I end up taking shortcuts and then those shortcuts turn into a disaster and I end up hating the hair. So I really, really love the way this turned out. My hair is like super moisturized. I don't feel like it's like really dry. I got rid of all of those crunchy ends. Beautiful. Just. Oh, beautiful but it's the the hair care line by Taraji um, I want to try it out I think I saw a lot of mixed reviews um, a lot of people were saying that this was just not it which a lot of celebrity hair care products usually don't hit it like it really do be a hit and a miss with celebrity hair care products um, but I decided to try it out mainly because it was the only protected spray left <laughs> in the entire store because you know it's blowout season so everybody's already snatching up all of the protective sprays and stuff like that i saw this one because it was literally <laughs> the only brand left um so that kind of had me a little weary because i'm just like why is this the only one left why but i really didn't didn't mind it at all it has like this creamy but it's a very light spray. I did like it. I, I feel like it performed well. I was very liberal with the protectant spray. I made sure I coated my ends really, really, really good because a lot of times when we experience heat damage, it's 
coming from the oldest part of our hair, which is the ends. Now for me, I experience a lot of split ends as far as like knots. Most of my split ends, I usually get knots or um, I get the the normal just regular split in and they, they it pretty much starts at the end of my hair and kind of works its way up the shaft. Um, I only do a like really deep cut, like a real thorough cut twice a year. Like I, I only do it twice a year. I know I'm probably gonna get a bunch of shit from that because some people feel like you should do it every three months. Some people feel like you should do it like every other week. I, I do mine twice a year, so like six months at a time is when I go in and do a thorough trim. Now, unless I've done something where my hair is like, I can see my hair is very unhealthy, my ends look hard, then I'll go in and do another trim, but that's usually unlikely for me. I don't do a whole bunch of, um, heat manipulation or chemical manipulation that will cause my hair to want to break off even faster than you know what it should be i usually trim um in the winter time when i do my blowouts and i also trim in the spring like late spring let it go let those dead ends go there is no product on earth that is going to help with split ends like it can prevent split ends but if you already have them your only best result to do is just like, just cut it off. Just just cut your losses, babe. The Blue Magic Grease, a little goes a long way. So you do not have to like glob that stuff on. Like for my nighttime routine, I wrap it up into a doobie wrap and put on one of my satin bonnets, um, as well as a wrap scarf. We are also in the middle of our 25 days of giveaways. Yes, 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 25 days. So um, do not forget to participate in our giveaways. We are giving away gift cards, $15 gift card. Thank you guys for joining us on another video. Be blessed and be safe.